Okay, we just got a few little finishing touches in order to make this program a completed uh, Minesweeper clone. Now, uh, one thing that I did notice that we need to fix up, if I run the program here, I've gone back to 30 mines, and I'm going to actually try to hit one. There we go. So I've lost. You set off a mine. Kaboom. If I continue clicking on buttons now, they still work, and they should not. In fact, if I continue clicking on these until I have done all of them, I'll even get the victory message. So that shouldn't happen. Once it's game over, I should not be able to process any more mouse clicks. All right, so one little finishing touch that we need to add in. In fact, we even had it there. Button presses are not processed if the game is over. We should have a check to see if it's not game over, then we can process mouse clicks. Otherwise, we don't bother. We just ignore them. All right, so that will prevent that from happening. Okay, one other finishing touch that I want to add in. If I click on a mine, I'd actually like to show somehow which mine I clicked on right now. Uh, it doesn't show that so well. So here's the program again. If I click on there's going to be a mine right here somewhere. There it is. Which mine did I hit? I mean, I think you guys saw me click on this one, but it's not real obvious which of the 30 mines was the one that I hit. So how can we make that stand out a little bit more? Um, just before it gets the game over message, because the game over message is going to show and wait. So just before that gets displayed, I'm going to go to the minefield buttons at column row. And I'm going to set the style for this button and to do some searching around on the web to find out how to style the button so that the background would turn up to be red. And I go FX base and I want red. That way now when I hit a button and blow up on a mine, let's find one here. It's really obvious as to which mine I hit that ended my game. All right, and then the last thing to do is to make this new game button work. All right, so new game method. Now we have the method ready and waiting for it, but what do we have to do? Okay, we got to reset all the buttons. So they need to go back to being blank and being enabled so that I can click on them. Uh, I need to create a new minefield which that's really quite simple, right? We just use the method that we already have for doing that. In fact, it's taking me longer to type the comment than I think it's gonna actually to take to do it. Just say new minefield. Okay, done. And I need to reset the game over and the area swept ver uh, state. So I'm gonna say uh, game over, which since we're starting a new game, it's not true anymore. It's false. And I'm going to set the areas, since we're starting a new game, the area swept goes back to zero. All right, now what about all these buttons? Well, I'm going to need my two loops so that I can walk through every button in the two-dimensional array. So it's going to be four integer column zero column is less than the number of columns in the entire field. Column counts up by one, otherwise I miss buttons. And for row being zero. Now thinking as I'm typing this, what do I have to change about each button to set it back to being uh, the blank ready to start button? want to make sure that there's no text on it. So I'm going to go minefield buttons column row index and I'm going to go set text to be nothing. And I'm also going to look at that button and I'm going to make sure it doesn't have any graphic on it. I'm going to set that to null. 
Uh, I don't know if it really matters, but I'm just going to make sure that it's set to being displaying uh, text by default. So set content display. Content display. It's only just make sure that's happening. Right, and take that ass off. Uh, there's one more thing. If I run this, it's going to look real obvious. Kind of funny, too. If I hit a mine, come on, find it. There it is. Okay. It blew up. Kaboom. Start my new game. It's going to reset all my buttons. They should all blank out. They should all have no text on them. It makes a new mine feel for me. Oh, I missed two things. Uh, one, it's got to not be red anymore. So how do I change that back to normal? And two, I got to make sure these are both enabled. Now, I mean, otherwise, the game's working kind of as intended, except that it's a little weird. So let's go fix those two things. I'm going to make sure that this is not disabled anymore. So set disable false. And now how do I change it back to being uh, not red? That's actually the reason why I used the style uh, property of the button instead of doing a set background. If you set the background, it's kind of hard to unset the background. But if you set the style, it's really easy to unset the style by just setting the style back to nothing. Right now, run it one more time for you guys. Find a mine. Four around here. It shouldn't take long to find one. There we go. I lost. Kaboom. I say new game. And I go back to a nice new game ready to start up again. Lost again. Oh. Okay, I'm quitting now while I'm ahead. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed creating Minesweeper.